Welcome to my bathroom. I'm going to make a video today about my bathroom shower tub routine because it's something I have pretty well dialed in. I don't like to mess with this stuff a lot. Um, mostly because when I get up in the morning I don't want to think about what I'm doing while I'm in the shower. But also because it's a really um, meditative and relaxing time in the evening when I take a shower. So I just don't want to fuss with a lot of things. Most of these products are things I've been using for 10 or more years and they're just my favorites and I'm going to tell you why. Let's get started. Uh, first thing first, we'll go face stuff. The Philosophy Purity Made Simple. Just a good all around gentle face wash. <laughs> it doesn't have a lot of smell but this smell is kind of um earthy, almost patchouli smell, but it's a good face wash, um, like 35 bucks for this bottle, but it lasts seven, eight months, so favorite, been using that forever, but my favorite thing for my face is the Olay Regenerist Instant Result Microderm Treatment. It's, uh, like an at-home microderm kit, uh, You've got two steps, the orange goop, it smells like oranges, and it's a physical exfoliator, so it's got little scrubbies in it. You scrub it all over your face. They say to only do it for like a minute, but I probably spend two or three minutes just rubbing it in my face because it feels good, it smells good, it's amazing exfoliator. And then the second step, which this thing is just crusty, is the lactic acid. I believe is what's in it, and this is a chemical exfoliator. You rub it on, it foams up with the orange stuff, and it just clears all the gunk off your face. Um, you get out and your face feels amazing, it's smooth like a baby's butt, and your makeup goes on better, and I think that my skin looks brighter now using this too. Um, about once a week, sometimes twice, um, <laughs> if I'm feeling saucy. Uh, the only problem that I have with this stuff is that it will eat the nail polish off if you don't have a top coat. Um, it like oxidizes the nail polish, it turns it white, so usually do this before I paint my nails for the week. Um, but it's amazing stuff regardless of what it does to my fingernails. Um, here's another cool like take dead skin off of my body chemicals thing. It's the Be Natural by ProLink Callus Eliminator, and I get it at Sally. Um, it's like a gel, and I use it on one of these plastic block things to take the calluses off the bottom of my feet, so I don't have to get pedicures as often, don't have to deal with my feet as often. Just squeeze some of this on, scrub the hard spots on my feet, it does make the tub slippery and it's probably terrible chemicals, I'm not sure what's in it honestly, but if you like your feet to stay soft, Callus Eliminator is great. Oh, um, my bubble bath, body wash, um, everything that I clean my body with is the Bath & Body Works Black Raspberry Vanilla. This is no longer available in the stores and I just found out that they're actually completely discontinuing it. I did cry about it. Uh, it's raspberry, like a warm vanilla smell. I've never found anything that smells as good as this to me. So, obsessed with it. I use it as a bubble bath, body wash. It's amazing. Uh, I'm going to have to tell a story about that someday. I've cried over this body wash more than once, actually. Um, I got this at Target, and I'm going to tell you... It sucks, it's falling apart, um, it's just a foam scrubby thing, it says, uh, I don't know what it is, it's all washed off, but it just the parts keep falling apart and they come out and I shove them back in and they still come out, throwing that away, I think it was like $3, but the giant puffy at Target, they fall apart, I don't know what. Uh, here's another bath item. Shea Moisture Olive and Green Tea 2-in-1 Bubble Bath and Body Wash with Avocado. Smells like Strawberry Shortcake's hair. 
If you are a child of the 80s, you know what I'm talking about. I don't like it because it's it smells like strawberry shortcake. It freaks me out. Um, it's really moisturizing. It makes great bubbles. My husband uses it a lot in the tub. It just smells too weird for me. Strawberry shortcake bath. Um, we do take a lot of baths though, my husband and I, because baths are amazing. <laughs> um, but I, like I said, I use the, the Bath and Body Works stuff. Uh, Epsom salts, gotta have it. Soak your muscles, all the great things. Tons of bath time. Um, I think it also makes the bubbles more bubbly when I put it in with my bubble bath, which is cool. Um, these are my Lush bath bombs. I don't use them as often as I'd like to. They're not cheap. Um, but the other problem is we got a jetted tub installed and now these things, I don't want the glitter and stuff in the jets. So I'm kind of picky about when I'm going to use them. But I just keep a jar of them because we love baths and they are fun. Um, but I just, I've probably had these two for like eight months. I'm too, I'm too afraid to put them in the tub. Uh, the last thing I have that's like my very best favorite bath stuff is a Gillette razor. I use a Gillette Mach 3 Turbo. I like to shave a lot of my body and I'm going to use a men's razor. They're amazing. Um, and they last a pretty long time too, so that's a great thing. And I actually bought this for Sean, my husband, <laughs> and I use it probably more than he does. It is the Billy Jealousy Hydroplane Super Slick Shave Cream. Just a really great uh, smooth shaving cream. It's like a mix between a gel and a cream. It just gets your shave really close. It doesn't have a big smell to it. Just really great stuff. I get this at Ulta. So that's everything that happens in my bath. I mean, like I said, the Bath and Body Works, the Microderm stuff, the Philosophy face wash. Those are my standards. I probably will never deviate from them. They just work and do what I want them to do. And this is the one place that I really don't try to change it up a lot. I just want to come in here, take a shower, take a bath, and be done with it. Um, but I wanted to share it with you and kind of show you what I got going on in here. So that's that. Uh, stay tuned. I've got lots of really cool videos I'm going to make. Uh, next up, I'm going to try baking in the microwave with these cool 80s baking microwave pans. We'll see how it goes. I think it'll be a fun video and uh, let me know if there's anything in particular you want to see or if you want me to try out and I will give it a shot.